Hi everyone, welcome to day three of the 12 Designs of Christmas series that I'm doing right now. Um, so today we're going to be doing a, well, I don't really know how to explain it. It's sort of like a French, but not really. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it so you can see what we're doing. So I'm going in with Nude Mood, first of all, which is this beautiful, like very subtle, shimmery nude. Um, you can use absolutely any colour you want for the base of this design. I've obviously not cleaned this nail very well because there is bits of all sorts in it which is not helpful but it's fine we're just going to ignore it so i'm doing two coats of this so i'm just going to do one on camera and then i'll do the other one real quick away from the camera so you're not watching me do the same thing over and over but for now while that is curing i'm just going to show you what we're going to be using so first of all we're going to be using blackout which is gel perfection's black gel polish obviously like i just said we're using nude mood as the base I'm also going to be doing some stamping and using some flexi tape. So we're using white flexi tape, which you can't really see because obviously it's white. And then we're going to be using this plate, which I think is born. Yeah, it's a born pretty plate. This is the name of it. And we're going to be using, where is it? Where's the image that I wanted to use? Have I, oh, this one. <laughs> so we're going to be using this image here. And we're going to take this like top half of it. So that's what we're going to be using along with Moira, no, not Moira, I lied, Moyu um, white stamping polish. But first of all, let's get into the design. So we're going to be going in with blackout, which like I said, is obviously black. And we're just going to pop that on the free edge of this nail. So I'm going to go about halfway, just probably a little bit less than half. And I'm just popping that just on the free edge. On the very end. Now, luckily, my black is like super pigmented, so I only need one coat of it. But if yours isn't, then obviously do however many coats is necessary to get a nice even coverage and then once I've done that I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full 60 second cure this design is literally so super easy but really effective I absolutely love it um so once that is cured we're then going to get on with the stamping so I'm just going to get ready like what I need so just to get myself ready I'm just going to clean off my stamper on a lint free wipe a lint free wipe it's not a lint free wipe every time I say lint every time I say lint free wipe just comes after i don't know why even i don't want it to so i'm going to use my lint roller which is what i was trying to say um to clean my stamper um and I literally just quite literally just roll it across super easy nice and clean it doesn't look clean because it underneath isn't clean so that's why but you can always just take it off for one second and roll the underneath as well and then it'll make it super super clean and then it's obviously much easier to see through as well, which is fab. I am trying to get into using this stamper because, um, well, it was expensive, to be quite honest with you, and I don't ever use it. So here we are. Right, so I'm going to stamp just on the black area of the nail. So we're going to be using white. And again, we're going to use this image here. So I'm going to try and get my phone to focus, like not on how shiny the plate is, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to get my white stamping polish, place it at the top of this design, pull off the excess product and then we're going straight in with picking it up. I'm going to make sure there isn't any up here because that's what is going to be going on our nail. And then I'm just going to stamp that straight on top of the black area. Actually, I'm going to use the other side. Don't worry about the bit that is there that we don't need. I can get rid of that in a second. So I'm just going to place that on the nail. There we go, I can move this out of the way of the background now so it'll focus properly. So there's that. I'm just going to quickly clean up that little bit that we got that we didn't want. I'm just going to use a bit of acetone to get rid of that on a little lipstick applicator. I love these lipstick applicators for this purpose, they're so helpful. You can just wipe it away straight away, super, super easy. Get it nice and clean. And then once I've done that, I'm then going to apply some tape so i'm just going to look at the thickness of each like layer of it all you can see is really tiny mini hairs on everything which is very annoying but obviously i'm just going to pick which one i want i'm just going to use this just for the fact how easy it, how easy it is because it's already cut but if you do want it thick i'll obviously use some from the other side of the tape and i'm just going to pick that up and then this is where i fight with it and get really angry <laughs> And I'm just going to place that on the side first and then pull it over to the other side, getting it as 
straight as I need it. You can also use this to cover up if you make any mistakes when it comes to the actual, um, what's it called as well, uh, doing the black. Like if you don't get it as straight as you wanted it, then it's not a problem because this can hide that if you use a thicker line. So I'm just like rubbing over with my tweezers to make sure that it's nice and stuck. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess. Preferably without lifting it up, that would be great. <laughs> I'm just going to push it down to make sure it's really stuck. And then I've got a couple of bits of like, just little bits of dust and hair and stuff at the top. So I'm just going to use my lipstick applicator to remove that. Make sure it's all nice and clean before I go in with top coat. Now you can have this matte or shiny. You can have it half matte, half shiny, like the bottom half one and the other half the other. I am just going to go in with shiny just because, well, I just like shiny nails. But I think it would actually look quite effective if you did half and half. But we're just going to shine top coat because you can do whatever you like with it. Just to keep it nice and simple. I'm just going to go straight in with our top coat. If I was doing this on a client, I would double top coat or base then top just to seal in the um what's it called flexi tape and the design on the end because it is not a real person i'm not going to do that i've just accidentally tipped it up in the lamp so i'm just gonna make sure it's not smudged it which it hasn't which is lucky so popping that in the lamp for 60 seconds then once it comes out what i'm going to do is just gently file the side walls i would recommend if you're doing it on an actual person to cut this tape a little bit shorter than you need it and have like a tiny gap by the side of the nail because then it's like you're sort of encapsulating it when you top coat and um, which obviously is going to keep it in place and then i'm just going to clean my stamper again make sure there's no product left on there and it's ready for when i next want to use it and this is the finished look, super, super easy, but really effective. And obviously that is what I'm going for in this 12 designs of Christmas sort of theme. So yeah, super, super easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll be back very soon with another one. Join me here tomorrow for day four of the 12 designs of Christmas. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.